That's why they're planning in the month of May, which is next month, to get nations to sign their sovereignty to the Secretary General. Greetings, my family. Welcome again to Direct TV, bringing to the truth. Welcome, guys, to this special episode of my video today. And right in today's video, guys, I'm still here with the man of God by person of the highly esteemed Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilume, DSC, DSC, DD. And in today's video, guys, the man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris, is actually going to be sharing something amazing that is coming in the month of May. All right, this is an expose. All right, and I just hope this video doesn't get taken down. All right, because um, there's something very vital Pastor is going to be saying today. All right, about um, you know the deep states, those that are actually you know behind some of the things going on in the world. All right, so Pastor Chris will be exposing them right now. All right, so. One of the things that you need to do is that you need to share this video so that others can equally learn, especially the leaders in those countries, that this treaty is being sent to them so that they can be aware of what's going on, guys. So before we dive into the video, for those of you coming very newly to my channel, just kindly hit the subscribe button and subscribe. And then if you have not liked the video up to this point, please hit the like button and then like today's video, guys. Let's watch this. I'll be right back. Watch this. These leaders... He's given power, full authority, because he's asking for more. Like what you're seeing with the, with the World Health Organization today, demanding, asking to be given more power. You think they're there for health. Well, that's what they were supposed to be, because that's what they told the world they were going to do. Well, they weren't there. They didn't establish themselves to save the world they establish themselves to control the world through health services not just health services but health policies i want you to remember that they're not providing you health services they're coming with health policies policies of control and that's why they're planning in the month of may which is next month to get nations to sign their sovereignty to the Secretary General of the World Health Organization so that he becomes a superpower in the world and control all the nations. Say, Pastor Chris, is that you? Read the document. Read the document. Read the document, the content of the treaty. They're calling for nations to give up their sovereignty. That's what's in that document. And they want the, sec the, the Secretary General of the World Health Organization or the Director General. I think it's called the Director General. So they want the Director General of the World Health Organization to have power over the nations. And he can declare whatever he wants to declare at any time and enforce it. You think he's going to really be doing that by himself? Uh oh. There are non-state actors that are positioned him and they are the ones who actually want to rule the world. And he's just going to be a puppet. And so the nations need to study that document and reject it in whole. They rejected it over a year ago and um, they plan to bring it back. And before bringing it back, they lobbied different countries. They lobbied them. And try to see how they can just come and just rubber stamp. Haven't technically agreed in private. But I'm saying, say no. You got to say no. You got to say no. Because you sign that thing, you're losing your country. You're selling your country for nothing. You're selling your country. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. This is what it's always been about for a long time now. It's been about getting. Now, listen. If they get that sovereignty off of you, they take your land, they take your water, they take your food, they take everything that belongs to you, they take your army. What you're signing out is signing out your, your sovereignty. Your army will not be under you. Your police will not be under you. It will all be regulated and run from outside your country. Then you have no country. 
you have no country. That's what they want. You better know. That's what I'm telling you. And so the Bible tells us how these ten, they're going to give their power to the beasts. Let's read again. Let's read again. In that, yeah. These have one mind. All right, my family. Um, there you have it with the man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris um, Oya Kilome, as he, you know, exposed that um, agenda that they want to put in line or what to put in place, all right, to take off the sovereignty of people. But guys, we need to really wake up. We need to really wake up. And let's all share this video so that some of the leaders in those countries can equally see and hear some of these things, you know. Many of them need to learn of, know all of these truths, all right, especially the leaders that are making decisions because if they, if they make the decisions, it affects you that is in the country, all right. That's the more reason that you must also push to make sure that they get in this um, information like this, guys. All right, and now I posted a video some time ago about the unity in the body of Christ, which, um, you know, not much people actually watched that video, but I would like to play a little part of it here. And then I would love you to go and watch the full video still on this my channel. All right, please um, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Watch this. There is need for love, which you spoke about today, to return mm. back to the body of Christ. One of the scriptures you spoke about was powerful. Even if you have to correct people, it has to be in love. Speaking the truth in love. Very key. You understand? Mm. Now, no matter what and what and what, how do we bring about that unity in the body of Christ? In spite of our various mm. revelation and calling, mm. how can we synchronize? Mm. Well, I think, um, number one, um, first of all, we need to understand the place of love. Mm. If we don't value it, if we don't see its significance, mm. if we don't place a premium on it, mm. we will not pay the price to mm. see it. So first of all, we need to trust God to help us see that we need each other. Mm. Because the mentality of isolated giants who can do all things by themselves is why we have undermined the place of love. But Jesus said the house divided against itself cannot stand. So no matter the number of individual giants there are, if we are not synergized, there's nothing we can do. True. So we must understand the significance and the place of love. When we do that, then virtues come in. Number one, humility. Mm. The reason I will undermine someone, like Pastor was sharing earlier, Pastor Yemi Davis, pride. is because of pride. It's too much you. estimation of yourself. You are the biggest intercessor. You are the biggest prophet. You are the biggest apostle. So no other person matters. And so you have no regard for them. So I think humility must come to play. And then long suffering. Mm. We are growing into perfection. Most people, I don't know if there's any perfect person, but I can say many not perfect and so there must be that place of forbearance jesus said if your brother errs against you you should forgive him and peter wanted to be sure how many times should i forgive him in a day and he says 70 times seven times that's 490 times what if you have 10 brothers so it, it takes a lot of forbearance to be able to walk in love he said we should bear one another's body then we fulfill the love of christ and then number three we need to understand the benefits of unity Jesus said, wherever two or three are gathered together in my name, he said, there I am in the midst of them. He said, whatever they bind on earth is bound in heaven. There are things we can't change no matter how much we pray as individuals. So if we understand the place and benefit of unity, I think we'll fight for it. And then number four, we should also begin to see people with the eyes of God. Mm. How God sees the woman them. was caught in, the, in, in, in adultery. Mm. Everybody wanted to stone her. Mm. It's not everything that is about right and wrong. Mm. There are certain things that is about mercy. Mm. There are certain things that's about forgiveness. Mm -hmm. So when, when we are addressing people, we should learn to see them how God sees them. If Jesus was the one, is this how he would approach this matter? Mm -hmm. You can imagine that everybody wanted to stone this woman. Only Jesus said, if you are without sin, cast the first stone. So on one side, you see that Jesus sees with the eyes of mercy. Mercy prevails over judgment. Mm -hmm. On the other side, Jesus also has equity and justice. Before you condemn somebody else, are you perfect? Mm. Because the problem we have is that we evaluate sin differently. We think mm -hmm. some sin are bigger, others are than, smaller. Yeah. But James mm -hmm. 2.10 said, if you earn one, you earn all. Mm. So somebody who is not working in adultery assumes that every other person who is in adultery is a sinner. Whereas you are lying. You are exaggerating. Mm. You are manipulative. All of that is sin. Mm. So before you pass a harsh judgment on another person, check yourself. 
if God judges you the same way, will you stand? Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says, if God considers sin, no man will stand. Yeah. So I think if we put some of these things in place and we are honest with ourselves, we we'll would give room for love. All right, my family, there you have it with um, those men of God. Um, by first now, Reverend Dr. Chris and, you know, um, Apostle Michael Rokbo. Like I said, all right, I had to bring this clip because I still feel that, you know, people didn't watch that video. And I still feel that there's something people can learn from that video. A lot of thoughts was being shared in that video. All right. And this is the thumbnail um, of the video right in your screen, as you are seeing here. So go and check out the video and watch. All right, listen carefully to what these men of God shared about the unity in the body of Christ. Because as much as I post videos like this, all right, when I see men of God fighting, I don't, I don't, I don't like it because it doesn't seem right. And I am not, I, I am always more um, particular about the people following the men of God because it, it also affects their love for people, also affect their love for you know the members following that particular. Um, apostle if ministers of the gospel fight each other so this information or this um you know interview that was being done was um very vital and a lot of things were being explained that's why i i, I think and i thought that many people should still go and watch the video guys anyways i would like to know what has blessed you in today's video for those of you coming newly to my channel just kindly the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel and then if you have not liked the video up to this point please hit the like button like to this video guys now I'd love to see you in my next video. Bye.